the distinguished delegate of USA to make a statement. Madam President, distinguished delegates and ladies and gentlemen, behalf of the US delegation, I congratulate Madam President on your election as president of this section of General Assembly. Let me start from the depths of our time. We coordinated our response to avoid further disaster and return global economy to growth. Because the United Nations is the most powerful country in this world, some sightings of Syria suggesting that we have used force against Assad regime. To be clear, we will not hesitate to use necessary force unilaterally to degrade and destroy violent extremist groups. Some see the administrative military intervention in Libya on March 2011 were Gaddafi's decision of no mercy for the opposition. Afterwards, which UN step on authorizing the use of force in Libya to protect the civilians with the help of United States. But in Syria, the intensity of violence was more than that of Libya. Neither the Arab League nor the Gulf Cooperation Council has called for creating a no-fly zone. Another issue in the Middle East is the refugee crisis, which the challenges of mass displacement has divided the international community, leaving the lion's share of responsibility on the small developing countries. Thus, we now encourage new strategies to house refugees with jobs and education for children in the developed and supported nations. And finally, I would like to throw a light on Israel-Palestine conflicts. Before ending up into a conclusion, we would like to highlight certain reasons for the existence of Israel. Israel shares and respects traditional ideas like reason, individualism, and capitalism. They are the only democracy in the Middle East giving their citizens the right and opportunity to stay in the nation's foreign and domestic policies. And no wonder that they really demand a really motherland for their existence. Thus, we encourage everyone to understand the consideration of Israel and their need for acceptance without crucial judgment. This is what I believe, that all of us can be co-workers with God and our leadership and governments with the United Nations should reflect the truth. Thank you.